Hello. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by today. I was just getting ready to read three stories about three animals. Would you like me to read those stories to you? Wonderful. If you have a favorite blanket or a pillow or a toy, I'll wait right here while you run to get those. Great. Okay, today we're going to read about the three pigs, Goldilocks and the three bears, and three little kittens. Let's get started, shall we? If you're in a nice comfortable spot, then I shall begin reading. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs, and it was time for them to go out into the world. And before they left, she said to them, Now, remember, no matter what you do, do it your very best, because that's how to get along in the world. And so the pigs went out to do their very best. Now, the first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all, but he did build his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too, and he built his house out of sticks. And then they sang and danced and played together for the whole rest of the day. The third little pig worked so hard all day, and he built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house, complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest winds. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little pigs lived. And he saw the straw house, and he smelled the pig inside. He thought the pig would make a mighty fine meal, and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole, so he answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny, chin, chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws very wide and bit down as hard as he could, but the first little pig escaped, and he ran away to go hide with the second little pig. The wolf continued down the lane, and as he passed by the second house made of sticks, he saw the house, and he smelled the pigs inside, and his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner they would make. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's pointy ears through the keyhole, so they answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and he said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf was so greedy that he tried to catch both pigs at once, but he was too greedy and got neither one. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but air, and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their hooves would carry them. Now, the wolf chased them down the lane, and he almost caught them, 
but they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. <sighs> the three little pigs were very, very frightened. They knew that the wolf wanted to eat them, and that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day, and he had worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs around, and now he could smell all three of them inside, and he knew that three little pigs would make a lovely feast. So the wolf knocked on the door, and what do you think he said? That's right, he said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keyhole, so they answered back, and they said, No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny-chin-chin. Chin. So the wolf showed his teeth, and then he said, then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Well, he huffed, and he puffed. He puffed, and he huffed, and he huffed, and huffed, and puffed, and puffed. But he could not blow the house down. At last, he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. So he stopped to rest and thought for a bit. Hmm, this is too much. The wolf danced about with rage and swore that he would come down the chimney and eat the little pigs for his supper. So while he was climbing onto the roof, the little pig made a blazing fire in the fireplace, and as the wolf tried to squeeze on down the fireplace, he felt his tail becoming warm from the fire, and guess what he did? He crawled right back out. He jumped off the house, he ran down the lane, and he never came back and bothered those pigs again. The end. That was a good story, wasn't it? It's one of my favorites. Let's get ready for the next one, shall we? This one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon, she came upon a house. She knocked, and when there was no answer, she walked right in. At the table, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl. Oh, this porridge is too hot, she exclaimed. So, she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. Oof, this porridge is too cold, she said. So. She tasted the last bowl of porridge. Ah, this porridge is just right, she said happily, and she ate it all up. After she'd eaten all the three bears' breakfasts, she decided she was feeling a little tired. So she walked into the living room where she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her feet. Oh, this chair is too big, she exclaimed. So, she sat in the second chair. Oh, this chair is too big, too, she whined. So, she tried the last and smallest chair. Ah, oh, this chair is just right, she sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. Now, Goldilocks was very tired by this time, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down on the first bed, but it was too hard. She lay down in the second bed, but 
That was too soft. Then she lay down in the third bed and it was just right. And Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled the papa bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the mama bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up, cried the baby bear. Hmm. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled the papa bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, too, said the mama bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it all to pieces, cried the baby bear. So they decided to look around some more, and when they got upstairs to the bedroom, Papa Bear growled. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, too, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there, exclaimed Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, Help! And she jumped up and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest, and she never returned to the home of the three bears again. Wow, what would you think if you woke up and saw a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear watching you in a bed? Yeah, I can see why she was afraid. All right, are you ready? Our third story is called The Three Little Kittens who lost their mittens. The three little kittens, they lost their mittens, and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we sadly fear that we have lost our mittens. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. Then you shall have no pie. Meow, meow, meow then you shall have no pie. The three little kittens found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, for we have found our mittens. Put on your mittens, you silly kittens, and you shall have some pie. Purr, purr, purr. Oh, let us have some pie. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Oh, mother dear, we greatly fear that we have soiled our mittens. What? Soiled your mittens? You naughty kittens! And they began to sigh. Meow, meow, meow. And they began to sigh. The three little kittens they washed their mittens and hung them out to dry. Oh, mother dear, do you not hear? We have washed our mittens. What? Washed your mittens? Then you're good kittens. But I smell a rat close by. Meow, meow, meow. We smell a rat close by. The end. Thank you so much for coming today and listening to my stories. You can come back anytime you'd like and I will read you another story. Bye!